Hey, I just came in from a 20 minute uh, intense metabolic workout and had this, um, you know, this idea that popped into my head while doing a bit of meditation and uh, just getting my day started here. So I wanted to share it with you. Now, over the weekend, I try to connect with family and friends as much as I can. Um, admittedly, I'm not very good at make, keeping up with people. And so I'm working on that, making that a new habit. And uh, so one of the things I realized is about, um, uh, I don't know, half or over half of the people are still fixated on politics in the U.S. Now, most of my family and friends are in the USA. So, you know, that's uh, the thing is, um, I asked them both, you know, both the right wingers who are fixated on on you know, on the right wing stuff and the left wingers who are fixated on the sky is falling. Uh, both of them uh, are unhappy and, and angry and, and it's just kind of weird and just distracted. And, and so I asked them, you know, if, they, if they're really being served by focusing on these things they can't control because, uh, you know, whether it's the right wingers still talking about, you know, Hillary this and Hillary that and the left wingers talking about Trump's hair, like, hey guys, you know, there's just so many other important things going on and great things to enjoy in this beautiful thing we call life, you know. But here's one of them, and that is the health of our children. I mean, just look around. If you want to focus on a political issue, why don't you focus on food and children, okay? Like, what are your children eating on a day-to-day -day basis? What are the schools giving your children? Are they giving them access to disease causing, diabetes inducing, you know, sugary drinks on a frequent basis, you know, or daily, uh, that's a huge issue. Now, why is no one talked, why, why did no one talk about this in a big way in the election, at least in the national level? Um, I think it was talked about by some of the, some of the other smaller candidates. Uh, possibly it's because but children eating sugar is a hugely profitable and addictive business model and it creates millions and millions of profits every month for huge food corporations and if you want to go a step further it also sets the stage for an early onset of diseases uh, and just you know look at this look it up look at the statistics for diabetes type 2 diabetes since the whole you know low fat high carb thing began in the late 70s you can see a pretty steady progression with both overweight, obesity, and, um, and type 2 diabetes. And that would also be, be uh, followed by, in between, by insulin resistance, which some call prediabetes. Now, um, this is a huge, huge tidal wave, tsunami, you know, national security threat. So focus on your local school food, if you want an issue to fight about, go do that, you know, and uh, that's going to make the difference, a difference in the future of both your kids as well as my kids, as well as our future, because, hey, these kids are going to be around when we're old and decrepit, right? And uh, we don't want them to be decrepit before their time. So that's all for now. Dan O'Byrne, MetabolicMotivation.com. Please uh, leave me your comment and share this if you like it. And by the way, I'm giving away a free wellness habit consult to uh, one person who, uh, who shares uh, these messages. Uh, all you have to do is share and you get in the drawing. And that'll be uh, later, announced later this week. Okay, thanks. Over and out.